standing here with the heroic owner. How proud are, how proud are, are you of the boys? I'm so incredibly proud. They've been fighting for so long through ups and downs and it's been really tough the last two years since I acquired Heroic, but I've believed in the guys. I've seen them fighting so hard and now we finally did it and we did it in Denmark. Exactly. Put some words on this journey after taking up this uh, roster. There's a lot of been a lot of you know like problems and difficulties, but now you have won a land event, a big land event. Obviously, it's been a lot of problems, and you've all seen it in the news. But I knew Casper Kadian from before. I met him in Odense during EPL in 2018. Got to know him. I know him by heart, and I know that he's a good guy. And I knew that I wanted to work with him. And he's been showing hearts for so many years now, and been fighting and fighting for so long. Uh, his career has been just amazing and building the team together with him, with all the guys next to me, it's been an amazing journey as an owner. Um, the guys have been working so hard and now we finally got the opportunity to lift the trophy. I've been crying for like 30 minutes now. <laughs> yeah, because at your last event in Rio you were in the grand final but you lost. How was it to see that last round and it was not the opponents but it was Heroic's time to win? Yeah, the major obviously we lost the grand final, but to me we won a lot. We haven't been in a grand final for so long, especially not on LAN, so we got the opportunity to show what we're good for, and we believed in ourselves and we kept fighting. And if you were to ask us one week prior, we would have been so happy with a grand final. And to, to play in front of the Brazilian crowd as well, they've been so amazing supporting Heroic as a brand for so long, it was amazing. It was amazing. Heroic has been near the top of CSGO for so long. Is this the last step for Heroic now? Have the, are they at the very top? I think we have a lot to improve on still. Um, and that's one of the fun parts. We still have a lot of things in our toolbox. So wait and see. Uh, this is for sure a good step up there. Uh, but let's keep this grind going. Um, we have a lot more to show. <laughs> the future looks bright for Heroic. I think the future definitely looks bright for the Heroic. It's thanks to the guys who are playing so hard, grinding every single day. You just extended Tiss's contract with four or five players being on long-term contracts. Are this a, yeah, a long-term project? It is for sure a long-term project and I really believe in consistency. I think one of the most important things about building a winning team is to have a winning culture. And it's really hard to build that if you keep changing your teammates on and on. Um, so it's important to have a good core and that's what we believe in. We believe in our core. We believe we have five of the best players in the world and we're gonna make sure that the culture is a winning culture. And we're gonna deliver that on stage, like we did today. You talk about the culture. And from the outside, it looks like it's uh, very united and uh, and trusted within the team. How is it from the? <laughs> I mean, it's what you're saying. It is united. It's the five guys, and obviously the coach and assistant coach and so on. They're good friends. They love working it with each other night and day. And they keep doing that. So it's exactly what you see on stage. The friendship is there, the hard work is there, everything is there. That was uh, on the stage and what we see, but what's going on from the outside? You as an uh, Omec in eSports, after you, you took uh, on the, the team, what, ha what have you worked on, what have you built on? So, we've done a lot of things. I believed in Kadian, I knew that he was a good guy by heart, I knew that his vision regarding building the core was great. My man! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, <laughs> there it was. I believed in him. And uh, he's been delivering by heart and being consistent. And my responsibility has been to build everything around them. So I've gotten in a great guy at performance who's called Oliver Walskor, our director of performance. He's been putting his philosophy to performance into heroic and also building every other division. Marketing, commercial, everything. And there's a lot more to come.